I understand you're you're in the uh, dating scene. What kind of reactions <laughs> do you get when when you tell your date, "Hey, guess what? I got sterilized. That uh, a family is not in my future." What's what's been the response? Honestly, uh, the people that I've talked to have been very understanding of it. You know, I feel like that's the thing you should communicate up front, whether you want kids or not. You should let the person know what you're wanting. And I tell them that up front and they've all been cool with it. They're like, you know, that's that's your choice. And I respect that. All right. I'd like to bring into the conversation, not one, but two OBGYNs. Well, guess what? They have two different viewpoints on this topic. Dr. Claire Putnam and Dr. Evelyn Manaya. Docs, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. Dr. P as in Dr. Putnam, we're starting with you. As an OBGYN, how do you feel about women asking to be sterilized at a young age like 16 that we saw with Montana? Well, 16 is too young. Um, there isn't a state where you can do it at 16, but when women are 21 and they come in seeking sterilization and they know very much like Montana did that they really don't want children, they've researched this, they've talked about it, they understand their alternatives. I really support that. And I actually do sterilize young women pretty regularly. I feel that many women, they need to be counseled appropriately. They need to understand the aspects of regret and that the future may bring them someone else who wants to have children with them. They need to know what the other alternatives are, the risks of this procedure, as well as the risks you know, going forward with being sterilized. But in the, at the end of the day, if they really choose that and that's their decision, I really support that. And I think the best thing I can do for them is listen to them, offer my counsel, and then eventually do it safely for them. All right, Dr. Minaya, do you think as long as a patient is properly counseled that adult women should be able to access it at any age? I don't. Okay, and, and I'm going to tell you, while I agree, I'm a career person also, I was exactly like Montana. I never, that was never, never, ever my goal is to become a mom or anything else like that. I'm a career person. I love to travel. I was called Ana del Aire, which means like Ana of the air because I was always somewhere. My point is to make something permanent where there are other things that you can have instead of having a permanent solution um to your wants that's where i have my stipulation how do you know that you have the capacity you know to make that decision even at 24. do i believe that if you do not want a baby absolutely you don't have to have a baby that is not what we were put on this earth for however do i believe to permanently sterilize you for the rest of your life absolutely not 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 unless you have to go to a psychologist and really be counseled very, very well, just to make sure you have the capacity and the foresight, the insight on what it is that you're really doing. Dr. Putnam, I know you're ready to jump right in. So what have you Always. to say? Me too. I understand your points, of course, but I think like Montana was saying, you know, she, it's her body. I know, and I hope you know, there are several women that I know who, who've chosen from a very young age, they just know that they don't want children. And I think it's it's very um, presumptive of us to say, hey, well, you can use something else when those other things for many women too, they have either health issues or they have bad side effects from birth control or they're in situations where it fails. So I, I again, I feel like our job as obstetricians and gynecologists is to explain the things to patients, but really at 21, you're an adult you are allowed to do many things. You're allowed to make decisions for yourself. And ultimately birth control does fall on a woman's sh shoulder as does pregnancy and, and having a child. 